Right, we've just had that big breaking news. Sir Graham Brady, Jake Berry as well, outside Westminster, saying that they're going to try and get this wrapped up. It could all be over by Monday. Who's your money on? Well, I think if the right can unify, I think they certainly have over 100 MPs. And I can't quite imagine the right of the Conservative Party going behind Rishi. So I think that there is a chance Boris Johnson could make that 100 figure. If it's not him, it's difficult to think who it could be. Theoretically, you could have three if it divides equally past 100. But I do take kind of the points of, of your panellists that Rishi Sunak looks the most likely. Mm. But I think he's also not, not a candidate who will appeal to the 2019 electorate. He, he has none of the values the, uh, of the coalition that right. both Brexit and Johnson put together. So I think he will lose a general yep. election. OK, you are now, I am implanting you back into your role as a top advisor for whoever our Prime Minister is, or the people who are in the running for it, I should say. What do you say to them about the kind of ticket that they should stand on in order to win the votes of 100 MPs but then also win the votes of the public, because they could almost be two different tickets. Do they do what maybe Rishi will do, which is appeal to the MPs, keep it simple, put a nice suit on and basically be a banker at large? Uh, or do they go to the base, like Boris Johnson might do, and, well, I look, he, I appreciate he didn't really do much, but, you know, at least say he's going to try and sort out the channel. How do you play it? I would say this. I would say to Boris Johnson, who I think is the most likely candidate on the right, I would say, know your virtues, know your limits. You need somebody uh, who has a grip on how to realise your vision and your policies, and you need to empower them to, to lead us from theory to action. That's what he lacked when Dominic Cummings uh, dropped out. He was very yeah. successful. Before. And what I would say to the, him is, your Biggest promise is you are the most likely candidate to save MPs their seats because you are the only candidate, yep. and he only went halfway, to deliver levelling up. Levelling up is absent from Richie's mindset, and it's the only thing that yeah. can save MPs. Not, not just, yeah, no, I mean, not just saving MPs their seats. A necessary element of that is knocking the opposition into touch. And just having looked at PMQs and just in general... The look of relief on Sir Keir Starmer's face that he is not going up against Boris Johnson is remarkable. I think he had a bit of a, a mental block when it came to Boris. I don't think he could really handle him. I don't think he could figure him out. I don't think he could pin him down. I don't think he could really get him. Look at him now at PMQs. He was opposite Trussie Open with a joke, for God's sake. Look, Boris, Boris Johnson has charisma, but what he also has is he has the intuitions as to what the country needs. What he doesn't have is the concepts and the ability to realise them. And also, because of Partygate, he tried to please too many wings of the party. He's got to lead, lean into Tim Montgomery's agenda of social justice, which both Tim and I profoundly think is key to, to levelling up and to winning back ultimately the middle class. And he's got to, to recognise that he needs to stick to his policies and deliver on them. And I think he still stands, there's a pathway to non-annihilation if Johnson leads it. And I think with Rishi, it's the same old liberal consensus that has served people so badly in this country. That, that's my fear.